NASA is going to crash the International Space Station into the ocean in just about four years, and they're asking commercial companies to build the successor. The ISS is almost 30 years old, and it needs a lot of work. In fact, astronauts spend a majority of their time on repairs and maintenance not science, which is not a good use of their time or your taxpayer dollars. Moving things from NASA to industry is not a new thing. After they retired the space shuttle in 2011, NASA tapped commercial industry to bring their cargo and crew to space. It accelerates innovation and dramatically reduces costs. It's not fast, efficient, or cost-effective for the government to own and operate everything. Instead, NASA wants commercial companies to build the next space station, and they will be an anchor customer, meaning they're going to foot some of the development costs, but they'll also buy time and space on the space stations. But here's the big game changer. NASA won't be the only customer anymore. Now that spaceflight is a lot cheaper, which side note, was made possible by commercial innovation, a lot more organizations can send research payloads to space or even do business in space. One example of this on future space stations is 3D printed organs. So on Earth, 3D printing an organ requires a lot of scaffolding to keep the tissues from collapsing in on themselves under gravity. If you remove gravity, you remove that problem. So we're already working towards a future where we mass produce human tissues and organs in space, bring them back down to earth, and transplant lists become a thing of the past. And that's just one tiny example. ISS research over the last 25 years has touched every single person's life in at least one way. We're talking thousands and thousands of discoveries and technology spinoffs that have enabled so much of modern life. Now think about how much more we could do if more people could access that. That's one of the promises of commercial space stations.